But I tell you, the wind of Wednesday is well, not going to Well, yeah, so we're going we're to have uh, a lot of wind around on Wednesday, mm -hmm. so we'll have to keep an eye on that for the folks heading down for Traveling. the Sunrise Show. And yeah. then also uh, some showers around for Circle Friday. of Lights. Yeah, ah, so, so an umbrella. We're just full of great news here. <sighs> yeah, let's uh, start weather. with this first system here, Matt. And it is going to cause some big time problems. We've got winter storm warnings and watches up to our northwest. So this gives you an idea of where the heavy snow is going to be tracking. And it's not going to be the winter side of this that we're going to be contending with. We're on the warm but windy side as this thing comes exploding out of the Rockies. There goes the heavy snow swath. And once we get into tomorrow night and Wednesday morning, we're going to have a line of showers and maybe some thunderstorms, but even if we don't have thunder, we're going to get some pretty strong wind gusts with that line whipping through and then still some windy conditions wrapping around this thing on Wednesday. Now we get into Thanksgiving Day and uh, we're quiet but cloudy here across central Indiana. And then this eventually will be the weather player for us as a second system starts to emerge out of the central U.S. And that will bring in the shower chance on the second half of Friday. So this is hands down the best day of the week. We do want you to be aware of the likelihood of a high wind event here. Uh, gusts between 45 and 60 seem very likely to us Tuesday night and during the first part of Wednesday. And power outages are gonna be likely with this as well. So we'll be fine tuning and keeping you updated on that. Get out there and enjoy it. Great day, we're already in the 50s. We'll top out at about 56, 57 degrees. It's gonna be pleasant. Breeze with this, certainly. Now we're into tomorrow morning. The commute and getting into school, I think for the most part dry. All bets off this time tomorrow for dry weather. And then that rain starts to increase. Again, this is in advance of the system. Watch as we go into tomorrow night. So now we've got downpours across the area. This is the front that poses that wind threat um, where we could max out some of these gusts of around 60 miles per hour. So. Uh, now, this has it getting through here at 5 a.m. We'll have to wait and see on the exact time. A good portion of the area should be rain-free by 8 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. But look at the temperatures go from near 60 to the upper 30s within a matter of a few hours. And we're going to probably squeeze out some snow showers out of this deal as well. Uh, and certainly going to have a lot of wind around. So as we get into Thanksgiving uh, Day, cloudy but dry, but it is going to be chilly here. And that's usually the case as we get ready for a drumstick dash on uh, Thursday morning. And then, as I mentioned, uh, the forecast for tomorrow looks windy and wet as well. We'll get those temperatures shooting up into the upper 50s tomorrow night. And then there you go. Rest of the seven-day forecast. Matt didn't like my turkey, so we replaced it with the Thanksgiving hat there. Uh, and a pretty uh, active weekend as well there, Matt.